this time they'll block all the vents and fill up the whole porta potty with gas. The Mythbusters seal up all the vents before going for their final porta potty explosion. Methane's lighter than air, so we've got our meter set about midpoint in the porta potty, which means that when we get 15% down there, we'll have a fair amount of methane up top. I think we're going to get a pretty good explosion this time. Start the gas! Okay, oh, gas is flowing. I hear it. I hear it. Alright, here we go. 2%. 2%. Three, four, Sealing the vents has made all the difference. Oh, we're up to 20%. Alright, count down. Three, two, one. Firing. Uh, Houston, we have ignition. Is it moving? Oh, yeah, there's fire. Move. Burning. Oh, yeah. The yeah. poster's caught on fire. Oh, no. Oh. Shall we ventilate? Oh. We can ventilate, but it's going to accelerate the bum fire. <laughs> What's your guys' plan? I say accelerate, and then I'll run in there with the, uh, the fire extinguisher. Tell me whether it speeds it up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Quick, yeah, okay, now he's fully on fire. Venting has only added more oxygen to Buster's problem. Don't enter till it's ventilated. Don't open it. You have 10% right now. They got a good burn, but no bang. Well, that was kind of fun. Poor, poor Buster. <laughs> From where I was watching, it looked like the toilet paper ignited, and then it fell and lit his crotch on fire. And then when we ventilated, it lit him entirely on fire. It didn't look like a methane explosion. Well, if the methane didn't go off with that source of ignition, it wasn't gonna. So, uh, what's the next plan? The plan is the rig, the ignition rig, is completely burned up. So the lighter is completely destroyed. Really? Did I did I cover part of this in, in, in some of my advice to you? Did I tell myself that it was gonna bite me in the end. <laughs> yeah. I guess we don't have a plan B because we kind of expected plan A to go off without a hitch. You should never, ever, ever expect plan A to go off without a hitch. Usually Jamie and I it's plan D. Tori's plan B is borrow lighter and bind with duct tape. I had to rip on Adam's rig, didn't I? <laughs> the lighter than air methane will fill up the whole potty before it reaches the meter. Let's, let's go for the money shot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, tank is on, ready for gas? Ready for the gas. methane level has to be between 10 and 15% to ignite. Oh, I hear it. 1.92%. Toilet paper hanging above the thing. Yeah. It's going to ignite. <laughs> Your guess is as good as mine. <laughs> Carrie reads the methane meter on potty cam. And three, two, one, go! Fire! Fire! Firing! Is it igniting the toilet paper? Also, no, the toilet paper is not igniting. Oh, Tor. Both Tori and his lighter seem to have lost their spark. <laughs> yeah, I want to see the sadness in his eyes. There's a yeah. toilet paper that's dangling next to it. It's not catching. I'm going to stick it right Hold on. Right. Evacuate it first for two minutes, OK? We're down to 8% gas. Uh, that's fine. We're going to evacuate the tank and reset the lighter for a second. All right, two minutes from now, we'll go in. Maybe it's a myth that methane is flammable. It's not a myth. We're just idiots. <laughs> This is a point in the day, which we've come to many times where we start to go, what else do we have that's flammable in the truck? <laughs> the firemen have something flammable in their truck. Add a new plan. First, light flare, then add gas. We're going to put a flare in there burning and slowly elevate the gas until it finally does explode, because we're getting really, really impatient with all of this anticlimactic stuff. First flash of success. Thank you, San Francisco Fire Department. You look pretty bad to start with. I don't think you look so bad now. I think the urinal got it worse. 
Huh? Are you guys satisfied with that? That was cool. You want to do it again? Yeah, let's do it again. Surprisingly, the meter was at just 0.9% when the methane ignited. Adam believes its position has been the problem all along. What it's highly likely is that 0.9% on the bottom equals an overall density of about 15%. That's the problem we were having. When we were reading 15 down there, it was so rich that just there was nothing for the uh, lighter to actually ignite with. There was no oxygen. For the final test, there's no meter and no fancy ignition rig. We tried to make all these complex rigs to ignite, and it boils down to simple, simple is better. There's no more meters, so we'll just no count meters. down. All right, initiate the gas. Oh, I can hear it. <laughs> this time, it's just light candle, add gas, and wait for a big bang. <laughs> Need that here, did you? <laughs> you know, it's just as boring as last time. Ah! Hey! Wow. Yay! <laughs> we have explosion! Finally, the sweet, sweet funk of porta potty success. Good work, Carrie. Scotty. So get this all cleaned up and I'll <laughs> see you back at the shop. Hmm. Thank you very much, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, that was pretty darn definitive. Yeah, basically every one of our experiments says that there's no way somebody is going to blow up in a porta potty due to gases caused by the decomposition of human waste. She's right. And the actual story is that this guy was working at a methane plant and the porta potty was sitting over a pipe that was leaking. So basically, he's sitting in this cloud of methane gas. So, <laughs> so it's not exploding porta potty, it's exploding methane factory. <laughs> Which I think is very feasible. What? Well, totally different experiment. <laughs>